Okay, so iOS 18.3 RC has been out for a couple of days now, and as per usual, I always like to come back and share with you guys important details before the official release of any software update. Now, iOS 18.3 RC was released earlier this week on Tuesday, and it is rumored that Apple could release this software as early as next week. My best guess is that Apple will release iOS 18.3 on Monday, January the 27th, which is about three days after the filming of this video. Yes, yeah, so it's right around the corner, and I wanted to share some important details with you guys in regards to iOS 18.3 that I think you should know about, and a few bugs and issues that continue to linger with this software update. So starting with iOS 18.3, Apple has now confirmed that Apple Intelligence will be enabled by default throughout the onboarding process on compatible devices. Now with iOS 18.1 and iOS 18.2, to Apple intelligence was a feature that you would manually have to enable on your iPhone by jumping into settings heading over into Apple Intelligence and manually enabling Apple Intelligence. But again, Apple has now confirmed that starting with iOS 18.3, Apple Intelligence will be enabled by default. So if you don't want Apple Intelligence on your device, you would have to go into Settings, go into Apple Intelligence, and manually turn off Apple Intelligence. So there you go. That's something to note here with the latest iOS 18.3 release notes. Now, with the release of iOS 17.3 last year, Apple released a new Unity watch band, a watch face, and a new Unity watch paper collection for iPhone. Now this year, it looks like Apple may be planning to do the same thing as code within tvOS 18.3 RC suggests that Apple is working on that this year. Now we haven't seen any new Unity wallpapers just yet within iOS 18.3 RC, but last year those wallpapers and watch faces became available only on the official final version of iOS 17.3. So if we get new wallpapers or watch faces for the new Unity collection within iOS 18.3, the final version, obviously I'll make sure to update you guys on that. Now something else worth mentioning is that Apple has confirmed that notification summaries for entertainment and news applications will be temporarily unavailable within Apple Intelligence and iOS 18.3. However, this will return as soon as Apple can fix the current issues being reported. Some users report a bunch of errors or misleading messages with the notification summary. So Apple went ahead and disabled notification summaries for news and entertainment applications temporarily within iOS 18.3. Now I want to talk about my personal experience with iOS 18.3. So the first thing I want to talk about is an issue that I've reported multiple times, and that is an entirely black screen when launching the camera of my iPhone or or the camera application freezing sometimes when switching between lenses or the front and rear camera. Now I'm happy to report that with the latest iOS 18.3 RC, I haven't encountered any camera issues so far over the past four days since Apple released iOS 18.3 RC. Now with iOS 18.2 and even 18.3 beta, I would have the issue where I would launch the camera and then I would see all the camera controls, but the cameras would not be active. So very similar to what I'm showing you right here where the screen is just black, you see right there. So again, I haven't encountered this issue just yet within the latest RC, which I'm happy to report, but who knows, I'll continue testing, and if I do come across this issue again, I'll follow up with another video for you guys. Now, last but not least, I want to talk about display issues, because this also continues to be reported where some users will see some sort of distortion for a split second on their display. Now, unfortunately, I've reported this multiple times, and with the latest iOS 18.3 RC, I'm still having this random issue. Now, I'm not sure exactly what's triggering this on on my device, it could be some display calibration issues, but I've seen multiple users connecting to Apple CarPlay for a split second, seeing a pink screen, and then it goes back to normal. Myself, when going and using my iPhone as per usual, just throughout the day, I would see sort of a weird distortion with green lines on the display for random reasons. I'm not sure why that's happening, but yeah, screen and display distortions continue to happen within iOS 18.3. That's basically the only major issue, I guess, or major concern that I can report within the latest RC. And there you guys have it. That is everything that I wanted to share with you guys in this follow-up video. This is a few things I think you should know before the release of 18.3. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.